filling up the uh, buckets of hemp from the large bale. Weighing the buckets of hemp, we need 5.5 kilos of hemp, which when we take into account the weight of each of the three buckets we use, uh, it works out to be 2.74 kilos for each of them. We have a hanging scale. You're going for the number, are you? Okay. Yep. Beautiful. Hanging scale, which uh, tells us how much it weighs. We need uh, 8.5 kilos of sand, uh, which taking into account the weight of the bucket is uh, 8.7 kilos, which we also weigh out on the hanging scale. We gently uh, shake the buckets of hemp in. This aerates it a bit and helps it to uh, mix a lot better. It's a little bit like uh, sifting flour when you make a cake. Aerates the hemp, moves around the mixer a lot easier. That was the three buckets of hemp that we measured out, all placed in the mixer. We then close the lid and turn it on. We then slowly pour in a bucket of water. By pouring it in slowly, the hemp, it coats the outside of the hemp in the water and less uh, drips out. The water that drips out is collected in a bucket and is later re-added to the mix. With the bags of binder, they're sewn closed. There's a little trick to making sure that you can open them easily. You need to cut off the, uh, cut off the end and then pull the string at the back from the left hand side. And then it all comes off easily in one nice long run. So it's a nine kilo bag of uh, binder. Uh, next goes into our mix. And we empty the bag of binder into the mixer, keeping the top of the bag low to the mix so that it keeps the dust down. We then add an extra half a bucket of water. Once it's well mixed, we add the sand. Once the sand is put in, we let it mix until it's well mixed through. After the sand is put in, we don't allow it to mix too long, otherwise sometimes it can start to form balls between the sand and the binder. So it's pouring in the uh, excess water that's run out. This is the finished mix coming out of the mixer. We place it into flexible buckets as they're easier to carry and uh, move into the formwork. This is the finished mix. A good consistency if you hold it, squeeze it into a ball it just stays together, it doesn't crumble apart too easily and it doesn't stick together too much. Using the flexible bucket, we pour it into the formwork. The flexible buckets make it easier to squeeze them into the right shape. Then uh, even it out 
Ready for tamping. The hemp's been put in, just evening out the layer. It's about five centimetres thick. Using the tamper, we tamp along the edges first. And then we tamp back across the middle. <laughs> Taking extra care around the studs and any penetrations through the wall. Packing in underneath some noggings.